All right, guys. So uh, George Santos is in, in quite a bit of trouble. We've gone through this. Too, I, it's, so, it's so much. It's almost like my brain sputters out and shits the bed when I try to even discuss all the charges against. First of all, he has like literally broken lying records. He should be in the Guinness Book of World Records for the number of lies. He makes Trump's lies pale in comparison. I mean, it's just it's nothing compared to this guy. My favorite one, of course, is when he lied to a wounded veteran and told him, hey, I'm going to raise money to help your dog who's sick get treatment. And he raised money and then stole it. He stole treatment for a wounded veteran's sick dog. He stole the money for that. Oh, said he was Jewish. He's not Jewish. Said he played volleyball in college. He never played volleyball. Said he went to the specific college. He never went to that college. Said he worked at Goldman Sachs. He never worked at Goldman Sachs. I mean, the list goes on. My mom died on 9-11. His mom didn't die on 9-11. The guy is a pathological liar. Said he wasn't a drag queen. Was caught literally on video and picture as a drag queen. Uh, it's just... And these are just the lies. I haven't even gotten into the various criminal charges. I mean, he's getting up there into Trump territory. Trump has 91 criminal charges against him. I don't think George Santos has that many, but he has quite a few. And it's all about, like, fraud, stealing campaign money and using it to spend money on OnlyFans and do Botox and just a con man's con man. Just a total unbelievable. Anyway, so this guy is now, so he sees the writing on the wall. They tried to expel him. Congress tried to expel him once, uh, actually, I think twice, and it didn't work. But now, after the results of this new report, it's sort of like, it's, it's going to happen, right? And he knows that. And so he's like, hey, if I'm going down, I'm taking all you motherfuckers with me. So now he is going to come out and say, I know where all the bodies are buried. I've been inside the belly of the beast now. I know what these people are like. I know what these people do. So now we get this headline in Fox News. George Santos accuses colleagues of voting hungover, sleeping around in profanity laden tirade against ethics report. Santos accused the ethics committee of targeting him unfairly while there are felonies, felons galore in Congress. Embattled New York Republican Representative George Santos delivered a tirade Friday night, blasting his congressional colleagues, accusing them of trying to force him out of Congress because he's different. <laughs> no, different is like if you bleached your hair and made it purple. They're not coming after you because you're different. They're coming after you because you're a comical criminal with a rap sheet that's longer than the Bible, okay? Jesus Christ. The New York congressman accused the Health Ex Ethics Committee of attacking him while letting other unethical behavior in the House go unchecked. Within the ranks of the United States Congress, there's felons galore. There's people with all sorts of shysty backgrounds, Santos said in a nearly three-hour conversation broadcast on X, formerly Twitter. Santos also accused members of, co of Congress of voting drunk and having inappropriate relationships with lobbyists. By the way, like... There is no Congress without inappropriate relationships with lobbyists. Like, all of Congress is one giant inappropriate relationship with lobbyists. I like how he thinks this is, like, he's shedding light on the truth here. Like, did you guys know there's inappropriate relationships with lobbyists? Yeah, it would be news if there wasn't. And I'm not only talking financial here, because, of course, the financial aspect is the legalized corruption and bribery, but I'm also talking... I'm sure there's all sorts of, you know, a little bit of huh, 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 going on, a little bit of uh, 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 going on, a little bit of huh, 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 huh. I'm sure of it. Quote, I have colleagues who are more worried about getting drunk every night with the next lobbyist that they're going to screw and pretend like none of us know what's going on and sell off the American people, he said, adding that some do not show up to vote because they're too hungover or whatever the reason is or not show up to vote at all and just give their card out like effing candy for someone else to vote for them. This shit happens every single week. Where are the ethics investigators, he said. So, look, let me just say, George, you're kind of making a weak case, though, because all these crimes are nothing compared to your crimes. Like, because you did all that other shit I described, and I'm sure you're doing this, right? So for you to be like, bro, they're having sex? And? <laughs> like, that's not... That's a, make it illegal to have sex. Look, I, I grant you, with a lobbyist, it is, there's a, a, a level of illegality almost certainly there, but, like, even if you grant him his point, you're, like, seven times graduated above this stuff. Your criminality far surpasses anybody else's. 
But I like how he's shooting the machine gun in every direction on the way out. Uh, metaphorically, of course. All right, let's continue. Among other things, the Ethics Committee said it found evidence that Santos had used campaign funds for personal Botox treatment, personal meals, a $4,000 purchase at Hermes, and payments at OnlyFans. I think he also was, he got like, he got bought stuff at Ferragamo or whatever, he got like designer clothes. The Ethics Committee report itself violated his rights to a fair trial, according to Santos. Shut up. Because it made definitive statements about criminal matters and contained a shit ton of hyperbole. Oh, pl oh please. Yeah. You're, you're the king of hyperbole. Santos faces federal charges of conspiracy, wire fraud, false statements, falsification of records, aggravated identity theft, and credit card fraud. Santos already said he would not seek re-election, but he might not survive much longer in the seat he flipped for the GOP. Santos has survived two expulsion votes, but Ethics Committee Chairman Michael Guest, a Republican of Mississippi, introduced a resolution to expel Santos following the release of the report. It's unclear when the measure will be taken up after the House returns. Chairman Guest feels that the evidence uncovered in the committee's investigation is more than sufficient to warrant punishment and that the most appropriate punishment is expulsion. Uh, Santos admitted that the House appears to be stacked against him. Quote, I'll be expelled simply because people did not want me, he said Friday. Yeah, is that it? It's just because they don't want you. It's not because of the thing that you're a wanton criminal. If Santos is expelled, he would be the fifth member of the House to be forcibly removed from the chamber in U.S. history. Santos said that if he is expelled, it would be the first time a member was kicked out of the House before being convicted in court. Should Santos be expelled, his seat would be subject to a special election that Democratic Governor Kathy Hochul would schedule. Santos' district voted for President Biden in 2020, but the freshman Republican House member won a surprising upset in the 2022 midterm. Yeah, well, he would lose re-election anyway. And look, let's be clear, this is all a formality, because he's going he's gonna to be found guilty. He's going to be found guilty of at least some of the stuff, so to expel him now, expel him later, it's a mere form formality. It means nothing, because it's going to be a wrap on his ass anyway. So, George Santos coming out saying that, first of all, sort of weak sauce, given, like, how it was portrayed. Like, oh, explosive allegations. And he's like, yeah, they have sex with lobbyists and stuff. Again, it'd be news if they didn't have sex with lobbyists. Okay, but still, I like that he's shooting the machine gun in every direction, metaphorically speaking. But it reminded me of this. Remember Madison Cawthorn? Well, his ass was kicked to the curbington. Why? Because he started saying, just so y'all know, there's a little something going on over here that I don't think they want you to know about. Listen to this. A lot of them that I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, keep up with cocaine right in front of you. They got his ass out of there real quick. Real quick. So, look, are there, uh, are there, like, swingers clubs, groups of uh, regular orgy members among Congress? I'm sure some of them are getting freaky. I mean, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of those fuckers. So, sure, some of them are. I'm sure there's inappropriate relationships with lobbyists. I'm sure a lot of these people are even bigger frauds and con men uh, above and beyond that of what you would expect from a typical scummy politician. Um, but having said all that, whatever they're guilty of, it literally cannot be worse than George Santos. <laughs> it, I would be surprised if there was never a story that came out about how actually George Santos is involved with this missing persons case from, you know, 2013 and... New evidence has come to light. Uh, it's, it's dark. I, I'd be surprised if that didn't come out on George Santos. But anyway, go ahead. Madison, Madison Cawthorn, George Santos, all these like bitter people who were in the club and then kicked out of the club. Please keep talking. I want names. I want specifics. I want uh, new investigations. You better come correct. Better come with some evidence because uh, it's time for a reckoning. I'll give you that. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.